Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present you the X1. The X1 is a sharpening tool made in stainless steel composed with three totally independent rods in order to be sure that the sharpening you are doing with has got an excellent quality. Three independent rods permit you to have a position more or less transversely compared to the tool for sharpening. These three rods, made of extremely hot steel, are cut like a fine sharpening tool in order to obtain a very soft sharpening. You do not have any return spring, only an action by counterweight. The fact of working by counterweight guarantees you in the time a regular sharpening. The rods are composed of two zones, one and two. The upper zone allows the sharpening polishing of the knives. The lower zone allows the recutting of the knife. 80 and 90 percent of the use of X1 is done on the upper zone. The sharpening quality you have in your companies nowadays allows you to work in this zone essentially. This zone is able to repair the cutting edge, it means the blade has touched your glove or your apron. Use it only in these particular cases. The upper zone, I remind you, is sufficiently powerful to repair your edge in practically all the cases. The only thing you have to do is to present your blade perfectly perpendicular to your rows. Not like this, not like this, but straight to your rows. Never pass a new... Now we will show you the right use. Pay attention to your jet roll. Perpendicular to the rows in a soft way, without excessive irritation, with precision. Use always the upper zone, more or less, blade perpendicular. Trying as far as you can to follow the blade curve without exaggerating like this. For example, follow the shape of the blade. What should not be done? Example. What is done very often in your company? Knife in the recutting zone. Your knife would be out of service. You can be certain that on the zone here you made small teeth which make your knife unusable. Stay in the upper zone without excessive speed. The simple fact of hitting your roads can also on the level here on the zone of polishing create small shocks. Shocks which in the future will prevent you from having a perfectly soft, smooth and regular cutting edge. Control your gesture straight, follow your edge, do not go too far, stay in the upper zone and your knife will always keep a perfect cut. The knife normally 
must cut with its own weight. Demonstration. We will now simulate the blade which touches the glove or the apron of a table. We will damage the knife much more than in the case of the glove to show you that the X1 is a real sharpening tool. Demonstration. Your blade does not penetrate or with lots of difficulties. We will, in this particular case, go down in the recutting zone, like this, with an effort from one or two kilograms until your blade does not hang anymore to recover the edge. We repolish it. Your knife is ready now to cut again correctly and with its own weight. Demonstration. A very important thing, the X1 must be always clean. The blade must be clean. Remember, when you had a sharpening tool, the first thing that you made was to pass it in your elbow and the knife on the meat. and the knife on the meat to remove the pieces staying stuck. Often you see the X1 with meat. The X1 cannot function correctly. Always a soft, regular, a perpendicular jet roll. Control your jet roll where was the X1 during your boning or trimming work. Avoid going at the bottom. The opposite of your X1 is sufficient. Thank you for your attention and we wish you a very, very, very good cut.